Hey what's up guys Zerun Rudy here back with another exciting Photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to create metal text effect. First of all we are going to create the background and then we will do some texturing lighting and we will create the metal text. So let's get started. Okay first of all go to file and create a new document. Uh, I'm using pixels right now and the width should be 1920 and the height is 1080 resolution is 200 and hit ok now we need to create a pattern for our background so for that I'm going to create another new background also create uh, press ctrl n and this time inches I'm gonna work in inches maybe 5 by 5 whatever size of pixels you use make sure it is square pixels 5 by 5 8 by 8 2 by 2 whatever and the resolution is 200 and hit ok here you can see the shape tool there you have custom shape tool now go here in the shape menu and there you have in this mess and there are many many shapes if you don't have them uh, click here and select all so this way you will have all the shapes and there you have to find this hexagon this looks like a nut whatever hold down your shift key and draw the shape uh, double click on it and make it black hit ok press ctrl T and make it big enough to cover the background uh, do not waste any background make it as big as you can but uh, don't mess up the edges I mean do your best to make it as big as you can but always be careful around the edges that looks pretty good now go to edit and define pattern I'm gonna name it BG2 because I already have made it many times so hit ok and I will go back to my original document double click hit ok now again double click on your layer and select pattern overlay and there I have this BG2 layer and hit ok oops I made a mistake again go back to your pattern and the size should be around don't know 4 or 3 ok 3 is good uh, now go to select color range and select the white color hit ok press ctrl shift i and then ctrl j now delete the layer 0 we do not need that uh, and create another new layer under our layer 1 let's name bg oops ok that's good uh, now press d for the default colors and press con alter backspace uh, for the background so it's black on black that's why we cannot see anything so double click on your layer and select color overlay and in the color I'm using 585858 five, 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 and hit ok and now go to bevel and emboss and there I am using inner bevel chisel hard and the depth should be 83 up and the size is around 3 softness 0 angle is around maybe 13 ok uh, boost up the highlights a bit and shadow should be around maybe 65 okay that's good and in the gloss counter as you can see here I have select I will select this icon which is named ring so select that and hit ok now create another new adjustment layer you can create it from here and select curves uh, I'm gonna boost a bit of a what's a contrast yeah that's good if you have problem with curves you can see numbers over here you can directly write them down but try to play with the curves it's fun and you can create some of your own styles I want it to be something like golden type but mm, 
a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, after that, uh, I think we will create a bit of a vignetting and for that create a new layer. Uh, go to your gradient options and select a black to white but I think I will make it white to black so white to black and draw it that looks good and now put it on maybe multiply that's good multiply looks looking good we can also try overlay but nah multiply is better see now this is good play until you are happy so our background is ready and now we are going to create the metal text okay so I have already uh, prepared my text uh, and uh, just if you want to know I have used the font style impact and for the font color make sure you use 50% gray or maybe make sure it's gray I mean dark light it's your choice but make sure it's totally gray and if you want color I uh, if you want the code uh, I can give it to you uh, here it is 8a8989 good now let's go to effects and bevel and emboss uh, in the bevel and emboss uh, inner bevel chisel hard and depth is 100% direction is up now I also want to tell you one thing that if uh, you have used different resolution or different size these numbers might not work for you so keep playing with the numbers until you get the results uh, you wanted so keep playing and be experimental uh, okay so let's get back to bevel and emboss size is 4 angle 13 uh, the gloss counter is again this ring as you can see here and uh, the multiply mode uh, is 89 percent the shadow uh, then I have created inner shadows as you can see here They are creating this rim light. So what I did was in the inner shadow. I used uh, screen mode with white color and Opacity 100% angle minus 41 and choke is 45 uh, After that uh, I created color overlay and the uh, color is 5a5500 and the color mode is color dodge and after that gradient overlay and in the gradient overlay I used screen mode opacity of 89 and the gradient is simple black to white nothing new linear mode and angle is 90 scale is 44 you can use it as you want that looks pretty good huh hmm. okay and after that finally drop shadow in the drop shadow i used multiply with black color opacity is 92 angle 13 distance 13 size 24 and everything else is default and hit ok our text is ready it's looking really good aluminum or steel or uh, whatever it looks good so this is your metal text effect uh, I hope you learned something and if you have any questions related to this tutorial you can ask me in comments I know I didn't explain each and everything but uh, feel free to ask me if you have any queries and if you get confused in the numbers watch video over and over again it helps sometimes so thanks for watching and if you like my tutorials you can subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up or you can also watch these other tutorials if you want to Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.